Today we're going to be developing some film and it has taken me almost two years to get back into developing film because film is so freaking expensive. I'm basically using film like as if it's the last bit of water on earth. And it's also been super hard trying to get chemicals. Like I usually use the Tetanol um, C41 kit, but that's been like extinct for like the past three years. But thankfully Jobo have stepped in and I managed to get some. I've had this for ages. I've been putting it off for so long, but today I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. And yes, I am looking very sweaty, like, um, and today's video is also in partnership with Jun. Jun, Jun, does anyone actually know how to say their name? And as well as developing these photos, um, I will talk a little bit about these lights because they're actually amazing. Well, the one thing that drives me up the wall is setting up lights and these lights are pretty sick. So here are the chemicals are from Jobo. They are uh, just the see. Oh my God. I'm very excited mostly to sort of see these rolls of films that I have that I literally shot about two years ago. I have no idea. I have literally no idea what's on them. So these are the lights I'm lining myself with today. Look how small they are. Like this, I love how absolutely compact they are and so easy to move around. And this will stand on its own. So I can, I'm literally just putting this on top of my hob right there. Pretty freaking nice. And that's taking me absolutely no effort to do. Very happy, very happy indeed. I'm not really gonna talk about how to do this. It's literally just a case of following the instructions. Pour this, mix this up with water, and that's it. Okay, first rolls of film in two years. Have I still got it? It looks all right, actually. Oh, all right, it's okay. These are some, there are some blank frames because I uh, fired the camera whilst it was turned off, uh, whilst the lens was on, rather. Looks okay. I don't know if you can see that, but can you see that? We've got film. We have developed film. There's some self-portraits, a loser. Yes, yes. As you can see, 11.09.22, that was the last time I scanned any film. Wow. And I forgot how much I absolutely hate scanning. So let's breeze through this. So it was quite a weird experience developing again. Um, it felt new, but at the same time, super familiar. Like I was actually quite surprised at how smoothly I was able to get through the whole process, even though it was a new set of chemicals. And I'm kind of annoyed about these new set of chemicals from Jobo because the developer only lasts a week. It has a week shelf life, which is insane. What? <laughs> Like it's meant to make 40 rolls, but it only lasts a week. Like what on earth is happening? Is And then the rest of the chemicals last for 12 weeks. How does that, who made these? This video is mostly about just curiosity and just seeing what on earth was on those rolls because I had no idea what was on those rolls. It had been, a very long time since I last shot these. Um, so looking through the photos was actually really quite fun. I'm trying to remember where I took these photos, why I even took these photos. And these photos, I think I was testing out a flash that I've had for like years, but never used. I think this was, must have been like last year and I was just super unmotivated, uninspired. So I just thought, you know what? Let's take some macro photos. Um, and, and I actually kind of, not hate 
some of these results, um, especially this one, like of this leaf. I think it's like a tomato leaf with uh, some beads of raindrops on it. And then this one was just some rainwater as well. I really like these portraits that I took of my cat. You have no idea how hard it is to take pictures of an animal. There's so many things that I want to do in terms of photography, like there's so many shoots I want to do, so many creative concepts I want to sort of transform into actual imagery and video. By the way, this isn't paid, like this is completely unpaid, but they did say that, you know, if this works out well, i.e. if you guys go and support them and check them out, then they will give me some budget. So, you know, I just wanna be completely transparent with you guys. And I will say that these lights have been amazing. Like the fact that this, this um, big one, the CX100, the CX100 has a massive built-in battery. It's massive, uh, so much so that it can act as its own light stand. So the fact that it's just there, on its own, not having any light sand is so nice. And over there as well, it's so small and it's it's just great, you know, and I don't have a bad thing to say about them. Like they do all the things that many other light brands do. You know, it's got the color temperature, you know, the, you know, you can do RGB, it's got all the lighting effects. But what sets these ones apart, in my opinion, is that they actually look really nice just as objects themselves. The reason why I'm actually really excited and why I'm trying to you know, show you guys their products is because I've never dealt with a brand that's so creator focused and sort of willing to help creators do great things. The person I'm talking to, Ajun, she is so nice to me. They've given me a discount code for you guys. Another reason why I actually love having these kind of lights, these sort of really super portable lights is that I like to take little snippets around the house, little beautiful snippets around the house, but I don't have the energy nor the time. Like, I just don't have it in me to then set up like proper lights with a soft box and like a flash. Sometimes all I just need is just like a little pop of light, just a little splash of light, just to, you know, just to finish off the scene. So for this photo, all I wanted was just a little pop of light at the bottom, just to highlight the flowers at the bottom because they were in the shade. And having this one, the CX100, just to prop itself up, so no light stand needed, I just propped it up by itself underneath the flowers and just gave it a little kiss of light and it illuminated it. And I was just like, oh, this is so good. And it's so powerful, like this is insane for its size. Like this, I can't, it's so small, like this will fit in any backpack. And for the jobs that I do where I basically need a photo studio, video studio that fits in my backpack. Because I go over by bike and all of my sort of video client stuff tend to be in the dark. I need something that's super portable, super powerful, and that fits the bill very, very well. Follow me on Instagram at Zane Reads the Photo, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Peace.